Hey, welcome back to the Wooden Metal Shop. Well, I've got this chunk of wood that's been kicking around in my shop for probably five or six years now. It is either spruce or pine, but I'm not exactly sure which one. It's got a lot of interesting grain and even some spalting in it. And it's even kind of an odd shape, so I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. You know how you have that chunk of wood that you say you're going to do something with it one day? Well, today's the day that I'm going to actually do that. But before I do that, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and all my social media links are posted down below. And also my Patreon link is posted down below because I'm going to be doing some exclusive videos on there in the near future. So you want to go and check that out. Also, if you want to send me a sticker for my sticker wall, just drop me a comment down below and all the information will be posted down below for that as well. So I'm going to actually get onto that chunk of wood. So you know when you got a big chunk of wood like this that's kind of an odd shape, you want to determine where's the best place to cut it so that it maximizes the best use of the wood. So you would think that this area right here is the thickest and the widest that I would cut off the bottom area and use the top. But this has got some cracking in here and I think it's going to give me some problems in the, when I start turning it. So I'm actually going to use the portion on the bottom right here and cut it off right here and then cut this area and use this portion here in the future. I found the approximate center, which is roughly about right here. Then I took the calipers and determined that this is about the center. And then this is where I'm going to cut it off. Well, I did say this is kind of an odd shaped piece, like of course it's flat on the back and out here it sticks out really far here and then really narrow here. Well, I got it up to about 1100 RPM and I think I'll just take it down a little bit and then I'm going to start with the roughing gouge first, make it round and then take this part off here first. It is soft. It's not really punky, but it's just soft and dry. Well, this isn't bad. It's actually cutting pretty smooth. So I'm going to face this off here with the bowl gouge until it's flat and then I'm going to put a uh, mortise on the, on the bottom here and then flip it around. Thank <laughs> you. 
getting there but I still feel like I'm cutting air. There's a little bit of a high spot right there. expecting that. So I had to fill in a spot right here with some five minute epoxy because it blew out and while I was at it I decided to fill in a large crack right here with some resin and that took over a day to fill up and set up so it's all ready to go. <laughs> Okay, so that's the basic shape that I want on the bottom. I'm going to sand this up and I hope this uh, mortise is going to hold when I turn it around. When I put pressure on it, I hope it's not going to crack on it, crack the bowl. So uh, I won't know until I turn it around and find out. I sanded that up to about 320 grit and it's actually quite smooth. Just try and wipe off as much sanding dust as I can. I'll put a couple of coats of shellac on it and seal it. Use it as a sanding sealer. It works really good. I might still have to fill in some of these cracks. So let's see what happens. Yeah, that's going to look pretty good. I even managed to save some of this edge right here on the bark. I want to keep that. Not too bad looking for a scrap of wood. I still have a few cracks in here, so I'm going to fill it in with some fast setting epoxy. Just try and force it in there. I 
I let this epoxy set up overnight so it hardened up and I'm just going to use the power sander to sand everything down nice and smooth. And I will mute the volume for this. And I'm just going to apply a water-based uh, sanding sealer on it. I applied two coats of a water-based sanding sealer and then I knocked that back with some ultra-fine sandpaper. And because of the way the grain looks on here, I've got another plan for the finish. So I'm not going to finish this right now. I'm a little nervous. I got this thing turned around and as tight as I can possibly dare to do on the chuck. So, um, here goes. Oh, and I also marked the line on here because it's hard to see where this live edge ends. So, I'm going to start from there and start hollowing it out. Well, I'm literally disappointed right now. I was having problems with the bowl gouge, so I went to sharpen it. I turned off the cameras. Sharpened it, came back, tried it out on the bowl, and it just went boom. Went off like a gunshot. For a few seconds, I thought I destroyed a camera because a small tin of sanding sealer went flying past me and I thought I destroyed the lens on my camera. I can't even find all the pieces for this. My only other disappointment is I wish I would have gotten that on camera. So, not everything goes to plan. And this is why I'm still recording the fail and posting this video because nothing, not everything can go to plan, so, oh well. But like I always say too, is uh, it's not a mistake, it's a design change. So maybe I can work something from the pieces. So, with that being said, you know what to do. Hit subscribe, ring that bell, leave a comment, like, dislike, all my social media links are posted down below. So until the next time, take care.